Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Aid. Today our topic is sequential file organization. Now, file, this is suppose it is a file named student. Now, this file reside permanently on the disk, suppose hard disk. And it is only reside in primary memory when some updation Suppose you want to insert some data in this file or delete or any updation, then it is only in primary memory, but not the whole file, but a part of it means logically this is partitioned into some fixed length storage that is called blocks. Suppose we partition this into three blocks. We said this is block one. This is block 2 and this is block 3 and each block contains number of record. Suppose this is one record, second record, third record and there is also three records in this way. So the file is partitioned into blocks and each block contains records. Now in sequential file every record have fixed number of field. Here roll number is a field, name is also a field, department, address and marks. They are the fields. So fixed number of fields and each field have a specific size. That means roll number have a specific size. Suppose number of suppose 16 byte or 16 bit in this way. Now there is a key field that uniquely identify the each of the records. So here we have roll number is our key field. Key field mainly ident uniquely identify each of the records. Now in sequential file when we want to insert some data it is in ascending or descending order with respect to the key values here we can see the roll number are ascending order this is in key field so key field have to have a order that is ascending or descending here we maintain ascending order so when we insert some data suppose the roll number 1531 we have to insert the data then it is only in this situ this location because this is ordered with respect to key field means roll number now the advantage of sequential file so advantage of the sequential file here searching of a particular record is very easy suppose a query is search for a department whose roll number is uh, 1530 so we have to find the department that is history of this roll number so searching of a particular record is very easy because their sequential manner with respect to key field so searching a particular record is easy you can say here we use uh, binary search because they are sh in shorted order with respect to roll number we use binary ser search algorithm but it is not possible because binary search is an internal search algorithm here it assume that all the records are in main memory but it is a file that means here all the records are not in main memory it is not true so here a block of record may be in main memory. 
So binary search or any internal search is not possible here. Only sequential search is possible. Any sequential search mechanism is possible here. Now we see the disadvantage of the sequential file organization. Because in sequential file organization, us we want to when we want to search a record, suppose there is n record. For n record, in worst case, we may have to search for n time or n number of search, n number of search because it is a sequential file or file store the data in sequential manner or search in sequential manner. Now the next problem is when we want to insert a record in the sequential file. Suppose this is our file. This is our main file. Now the file we know already that file is partitioned into records or at first though it is partitioned into blocks number of blocks so the main file logically partition into number of blocks here we draw or assume the three blocks b1 b2 and b3 and we assume that there is 500 record in this file so 500 record are partitioned into three blocks suppose there is 200 record in b2 also 200 records and in b3 there is 100 records now they are there is a key value field also suppose this is a key value of 21121 one, and there is a key value of 220 they are in ascending order now if we want to insert a data suppose roll number that is 150 a record with key value 150 in this situation this record should be in this position so this record is moved to or pushed down into the next block that is b2 so this is pushed down here and there is also 200 records already so the last of this record is also pushed down in the next block this in this scenario this is very complicated because in this situation all the records change their position and if you want to insert if you want to access some data from this file in this situation this is not possible until it complete it all complete so these are the disadvantage of sequential file now for a real life example suppose it is implemented in a banking system so we are in a queue to withdraw some money from ATM and this scenario occur in this situation. So we have to wait for a long time for a, to do means to do, withdraw our money. So this is not advantageous method, the sequential file organization. So um, today we read sequential file organization and if you have any query related to this topic please ask on the comment section